Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's class. Well, sorry, practice. Class will be more of an in person thing. But today we're going to do a full body workout, I guess, a full body sequence. Uh, following that, we're going to, I'm going to walk you through a nice um, uh, body scan meditation during Shavasana. And, uh, the body scan meditation is straight out of the mindful-based um, uh, mindful based stress reduction uh, program. It's a, a great little way to kind of connect that mind and body and breath that I seem to harp on so much about. So, but much like yesterday, I'm going to jump into our actual sequence first at a perspective this time. That way, if, if you don't want to do the body scan or you don't have time to do it, come back to it afterwards, okay? Totally up to you what you want to do. So let's get started with the body scan. It's a, a bit of a, a longer one, so we will begin. Bring yourself into um, your comfortable seated posture of choice. Again, you could be crisscross applesauce. You can be on your knees, whichever position is most comfortable for you. Um, I'll give you a little lesson here. Sukhasana is when you cross your legs. Siddhasana is when you kind of bring your ankles in line with one another. Who knew? So you got variations of easy pulls. There is no right, there is no wrong. You choose what's comfortable for you. So long as all I ask is for a warm up, you have a nice erect spine, kind of in a, a neutral position. If that means putting a bolster or a blanket under your hips to come in a line with your knees, do it. Righty. So nice and erect, great passageway for our breath. Chin parallel to the ground, gaze straight ahead. Let's bring our hands to the sides. Big inhale, belly expands through the nose. And big exhale through the mouth. Let the shoulders drop, let all the facial muscles chill. Let's do it once more. Excellent. Give yourself a little wiggle there. Feel if there's any tension you got going on that you can let go of in the moment here. Good. Excellent. And once we're done that check in, take a couple breaths just to connect again. You inhale through the nose, belly expands. Exhale through the nose as the belly retracts. Let's stay with that yogic breathing, that belly breathing. It's far more effective than the type of breathing we have trained ourselves to do, which is that shallow breath from the chest. And we want to get away from that. So maybe introduce that ujjayi breath, that ocean breath, a whisper breath. When you do that, you just you think of fogging up a mirror, right? <sighs> with your mouth closed, so. Good. Don't want to go too fast. Remember, if you can, just extend the exhale longer than the inhale. Two more breaths here to connect. Check in with your face and your shoulders. Make sure they're all relaxed. And on your next inhale, bring your hands up overhead, palms together. Reach through the fingertips. Exhale, release your right hand to the mat to the side and bend to the right hand side, that left bicep over the ear. And keep in mind we're, we're bending from the, the side here. We're not coming right over from the hip, okay? We're not falling over. So you should really feel the stretch through that left side. Inhale, lengthen through the fingertips. Exhale, maybe find another inch or so. You can bring it down to the forearm if that's within reach for you. If not, here is fine. On your next inhale, bring your right hand all the way up to meet your left palms together. 
Exhale, left hand down to the mat, right hand reaching to that bicep. Again, that bicep just over that left ear. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, soften down. Inhale, coming back up, palms together overhead. Exhale, twist to the right. Bring your left hand down to that right knee and your right hand all the way down behind you. As you exhale, soften into your twist. And again, remember, keep that chin over the chest. We were born humans, not owls. We're not doing a 360 with our neck. No poltergeist actions going on here. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, maybe soften into that twist, keeping an active core here. Don't snoop, okay? Nice and tall, erect through the spine, navel to spine. Exhale, unwind, hands to the side, sit up. Next inhale, hands overhead, palms together. Exhale, twist to the left, bringing your right hand to that left thigh and the left hand to the mat to the floor behind you, finding a twist to the left. Inhale through the nose, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, maybe soften a little more into the twist, if that's successful to you. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, unwind. Hands back to the side. Inhale, hands overhead. Exhale, oh, link our hands, interlace our fingers, sorry. As you exhale, bring your hands down in front of your chest, extending your arms. Inhale, deep. Exhale, curve your spine, pushing the tops of your hands as far out as possible, bringing your chin down towards your chest, really making some space in those shoulder blades. A big stretch along that upper back. One more time, inhale, lengthen, exhale, curve the spine. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, release your hands to the mat, slowly bring yourself back. Good. If it's accessible to you, interlace your fingers at your lower back behind you. If not, just put your hands, palm on your hip here. Okay, squeeze your elbows together as we do this one. Okay, so interlace your fingers, push your hands all the way back, opening up that chest again. You can also put your hands on your hips, and just squeeze your elbows together. Raise your chin just a bit. Don't hyperextend your neck, just enough to feel a stretch through that upper chest. Inhale, maybe squeeze those elbows a bit more. Exhale, soften. On your next exhale, release. Give your hands a little shake out here. Bring that. If you are sorry, I'm a hot mess today. Okay, one more thing. Inhale, hands overhead, palms together. Exhale, bring your hands down to the floor, palms on the floor in front of you, and begin to hinge at the hips. We're not looking for a full fold. I can't get my nose on the ground, so needless to say, I wouldn't expect you to. If you can, awesome, excellent, you do you. If you can't, that's all right. If you don't already have a blanket or a bolster under your hips, you might find that you get a little extra bend if you do go on under your hips. Inhale, lengthen through the spine, through the crown. Exhale, maybe soften into that fold a bit more. You really feel this in those hips. Walk yourself back up. Good. That's it. Let's remove that blanket or bolster if you have it under your hips. Give your legs a little butterfly here, a little shake out. 
Bring yourself to your hands and knees. It could be graceful. It doesn't have to be graceful. It doesn't matter. Just one way or another, get to those hands and knees. We're going to work through our cats and cows here. Inhale, navel to the mat, chin and chest to the sky, raise the tailbone. Exhale, curve the spine. Nice curve, push through the palms of the hand, making space in the shoulder blades. Bring that chin into your chest and be lengthening the back of the neck. Breaths. On your next inhale, curve, arch the spine, navel to the mat, chin and chest to the fore horizon. Exhale, curve, push through the palms. Inhale, cat, or cow, exhale, cat. One more round, inhale, cow, and exhale, cat. Walk your hands back to your knees. I want you to crisscross your shins. Maybe use your hands to push yourself up onto your feet. We're gonna, I'm going to turn here so you can see me. I want you to have a bit of a stance, almost like a, a wide, medium wide, a little wider than hip width apart. Hands on the mat in front of you. Might want to make them not as wide as the feet roughly. You're going to have to figure this one out on your own. It's a bit of a dynamic yoga here, okay? So hands on the mat. Your chest is almost relaxing on your thighs. There we go. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, balance yourself on your right hand as you kick your right leg through, bringing your left hand to the mat behind you as well. So you're on your left foot. Right foot is extended up and out in front. And you're on both hands like a reverse tabletop. Inhale, spin back around, both hands on the mat. Nice little squat here, forward squat. Okay. Inhale, exhale, bring your right hand all the way around, left foot to the sky. Couple of breaths here, reverse tabletop and one leg. If you can, maybe bring your gaze to the ceiling, open up the chest so we're not sinking down. Being very mindful. Inhale, and then exhale, wind yourself back around. Just in case that was hard to follow, here in luck, I'm going to give you an opportunity to do it again. Ready? <laughs> Inhale, right foot kicks up, reverse tabletop. Couple breaths here, keep the chest open, gaze to the ceiling. Exhale. Balance on your right hand, bring your left hand all the way around, pivot on those left toes, back into your folded squat. Almost like a malasana, right? Or yogic squat, almost like that. Let's do this again. Inhale, left foot to the sky, spin that right hand all the way around to your back. Exhale, unwind. You can take a moment here if you want to work on your malasana, your yogic squat, you can. You can give yourself a, a second in this position or just come to a nice seated position. Come back to your tabletop. Excellent. Nice little tabletop here again. Curl your toes, inhale, push your knees up, coming into plank. Exhale, lower 90 degree bend, lower the chest all the way to the mat. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, curl your toes, raise your hips, downward facing dog. First down dog of the day, you know the routine if you follow me. 
Give a nice little wiggle, nice generous bend in the knees. Work the ankles. Maybe a little shimmy shimmy shake. Come up to your tippy toes and walk your hands all the way. Yeah, walk your feet all the way up to your hands. Forward fold here. Take a moment. On your next inhale, halfway lift, shins, hands to your shins. And exhale, fold. Big, generous bend in the knees here. Relaxing those hamstrings, give them a chance. They'll catch up, no rush. Inhale, straighten the legs, hands overhead. Exhale, bring the hands all the way down through heart center to the sides. Welcoming our mountain pose. As we enter into some sun salutation A's, Surya Namaskar A. I like to do that every once in a while. I'll show you, I know my hands for it. Ready, inhale, hands overhead. Exhale, hands all the way down through center to the mat or your blocks. Maybe dangle your head here a little. If you like to this variation, feel free. You can interlace your fingers behind your head, just at the base of your skull here. Bring your elbows together and let your elbows just hang towards the floor, little extend in the neck. You might be able to find those couple inches of height that we lose with age. We're extending the, the neck here a little. Exhale, release your hands. Inhale, hands to your shins. Really get a nice flat back here. Crown of the head out in front, lengthening through. Exhale, bring your hands to the mat. Step it all the way back into plank or onto your knees. You choose here. Exhale, lower knees, chest, chin, or just lower down. Inhale, cobra. Cobra comes from the lower back, not the hands. Exhale, curl the toes, downward facing dog. Take a couple breaths here. Just enjoy your down dog. Do whatever you feel you need to do here. All I ask is that you keep breathing. Good. And when you're ready on your next inhale, come up to those toes and walk your feet all the way up to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, extended crown the spine, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, straighten the legs, hands overhead, chest and chin rise. Exhale, hands down through heart center. Let's pause here with our thumbs on our sternum for a second and just connect with your breath. Maybe take a moment just to congratulate yourself that you're giving yourself a little yoga today, a little exercise, a little bit of help. Now on your next exhale, release your hands to the side. A little shimmy, shimmy, shake. Inhale, raise your hands overhead, palms together. Exhale, forward, fold, hands to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, hands to the matter blocks. Step it out into plank. Take a full breath here in plank or on your knees. As you exhale, lower down, take your variation. Inhale, upward facing dog or your cobra. Exhale, curl your toes downward facing dog. We're gonna hang out here in downward dog for a few breaths. Maybe do a little check in. Nice strong arms, fingertips spread, feeling all four quarters of the palms of your hands right into the mat, all 10 finger pads. Hips up to the sky, bring your gaze to your thighs. 
Maybe bring those thigh bones back a little bit more. Up on your tippy toes and walk it to the front. There you go. We're going to do that one more time. Ready? Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise on up. Palms together overhead. Exhale, bring your hands all the way down through heart center to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step it back in the plank. Inhale here, exhale, lower down, up dog or cobra. Exhale, curl your toes down your facing dog. Good, fantastic. Here in our down dog, I want you to inhale, bring your right heel to the sky. Disengage that right glute and you'll feel your toes point down to the mat. If I engage that glute, my foot will want to tend to turn, right? If I use just the hips and the leg muscles, my foot will stay turned. Bend that right knee. Exhale, bring that right knee to the left wrist. Inhale, right heel to sky. Exhale, right knee to right wrist. Inhale, heel to thigh. Exhale, knee in between the hands. Inhale, heel to sky. Exhale, release the right foot to the left. Inhale, left heel, bend that knee. Exhale, left knee, right wrist. Inhale, extend. Exhale, left to left. Inhale, extend. Exhale, in between the hands. Inhale, extend. Exhale, release left foot to the right. Take a breath here. On your next inhale, up onto your toes and walk your feet all the way up to your hands again. Inhale, halfway lift, relax the shoulders. Maybe give them a roll back and down. There we go. I caught my shoulders all tense there, so. Exhale, release. Let your head dangle. Inhale, rise on up, palms together. Exhale, hands all the way down through the center. Relax at the sides, palms facing forward. Good. Take a look down, see that your feet are nice and straight, bind up parallel. A lot of times we might have one side that tends to want to turn out. That's okay, we all have it. I'm right-sided, so I become very mindful of how I'm standing. Just take a moment. Feel all four corners of your feet touching the mat. You can walk back and forth. If you have to raise your toes, raise your, or engage your quads and feel your kneecaps raised. Now release your toes one by one. Excellent. It's amazing how much effort really should be put into our stand, but we do it so subconsciously. Okay. Relax your shoulders, but keep them active. Active participants. All right. Let's go again. Inhale, raise your hands overhead. Exhale, just bend your knees, coming into chair pose. Inhale, lengthen through the fingertips. Exhale, now fold, maybe hands to your blocks. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step your right foot back, bring your knee down to the mat. Inhale, hands overhead, slight back bend, bringing your gaze to the sky. Exhale, hands to the mat, claiming your left foot. Step back, left foot meets the right. Good. Downward facing dog. Excellent. Inhale, float forward into plank or come to your knees. Exhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, curl your toes. Downward facing dog. Enjoy some stillness here for just a couple breaths in your down dog.
Inhale, step your right foot up in between your hands, lower that left knee. Give your right foot a little boost if you need a little more space there. Inhale, raise your hands overhead, small arch. Exhale, release your hands back to the mat. Inhale, bring your right foot back to meet the left. Exhale, lower. Cobra or up dog, choose your vinyasa. Exhale, curl your toes down or facing dog, hips to the sky. Inhale, come up onto your toes and walk your hands up or walk your feet up to your hands. I don't know what's wrong with my words today. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees. Nice little deep squat here with your chest on your thighs. Inhale, raise your hands and chest, keeping a bend in your knees, slow in our chair pose. Exhale, fold hands back down to your blocks. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise your hands overhead. Exhale, hands all the way down through heart center. Excellent. Inhale, hands overhead. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise on up. Hands overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Inhale, hands overhead, palms together. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, bend your knees, sending your hips back, chest through, resting on the thighs. Inhale, raise your hands and your chest, coming into a powerful chair pose. Two breaths here, reach through those fingertips, maybe turn those fingertips towards one another here, make some space in the shoulders, make some space between shoulders and ears. Exhale, release your hands to the mat. Step your left foot back, lower your knee to the mat. Inhale, raise your hands overhead. Exhale, bring your left elbow to your right knee, palms together, right elbow to the sky. Press in your palms, bring your gaze to the ceiling or straight ahead, maybe even down. Depends on your neck is feeling today, you choose you. We're just find a little twist here in the spine. Exhale. Exhale, unwind, frame that right foot. Step the right foot back to meet the left. Raise the hips to the sky downward facing dog. Inhale, float forward, maybe on your knees here for your plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, or just lower chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, curl your toes, downward facing dog. Two breaths here in your down dog. When you're ready, on your next inhale, step your left foot forward, lower your right knee to the mat. Inhale, hands overhead. Little back bend, exhale, palms together, bring your right elbow to meet that left thigh, left elbow to the side, palms pressing together. Gaze up or gaze forward, finding a nice revolved low lunge here. If you notice your shoulders are coming up to your ears, take a moment here, maybe just to give them a little roll back away from the ears. Check in with those facial muscles, make sure they're all relaxed. If not, big breath in on the exhale, let everything relax. Good. On your next exhale, release your hands to the mat, curl those right toes, give yourself a little boost, right foot up to meet the left forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, bend the knees, chest to the thighs. Inhale, raise the hands and chest for chair. 
We're going to hang out here for about three breaths. You do you. See maybe if you can bring those hips down a little further. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale down a bit more. If your shoulders aren't there today, maybe bring your hands to heart center. That's okay. Maybe a little eagle arm chair pose. That's okay too. Exhale, release your hands to the mat or your blocks. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands all the way down the heart center. Relax here for a second. That was a bit of a workout for my standards anyway. Ah, fantastic. Inhale, hands overhead. Exhale, fold all the way down. Step your right foot back. Lower your knee to the mat. Find your balance here just for a nice little low lunge. When you're ready, maybe shift your right knee back a tiny bit, straighten your left leg, point your toes, bring them back towards your shin, up towards the sky, finding our half splits. If you do have your, your blocks here, you might find them uber helpful in this situation. If you got long, lanky arms like me, you might be able to come down to your fingertips. The only thing you don't want to necessarily do is you don't want to put pressure on your knee, okay? You want to stretch the hamstring. Good. Inhale, rock forward. Curl your back toes. Bring, raise your right knee off the mat here, framing that left foot. Get super crazy here. Are you ready? Find your balance. Balance forward, keeping your right foot off the mat, still balancing on that left. Got a nice bend in that left knee here. Inhale, extend your right leg out behind you, hands still on the mat or your blocked. A nice bend in that left knee, balancing here on that left foot. If you want to stay here, that's okay. If you're feeling it today and you want to challenge your balance, you can either maybe raise your right hand straight out in front, kind of like a bird dog variation almost here. Or if you're feeling super challenging today, maybe bring both hands up off the mat. Maybe, whoo, don't worry about it, resiliency is key. If you do fall out, that's all right. Just meet us back where we're at. Oh, there it is. Excellent. Exhale, release your hands to the mat. Step your right foot forward to meet your left. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step your left foot back. Bend your knee. Or knee, knee to the mat on that left leg. Finding your balance here. Bring your blocks in if we need them. Inhale, straighten that right leg, flex those toes towards the shin. Finding our half splits. Good. Keep breathing, connect with the breath. Good. As you inhale, rock forward. I'm going to do this on the other side now. Frame that right foot with your hands. Curl those back toes. Raise that left knee off the mat. You can maybe find a small little bounce here to get you up onto that right foot. Raise the left foot, bending that left knee, still holding yourself with your right foot. And your hands on the mat and your forward fold. Nice bend in that right knee. 
As you exhale, extend that left leg out behind you. Still got to bend in that right foot. Find the balance on all corners of that right foot. Excellent. And again, you can choose here. Bring your blocks in. Maybe just come up a little bit with your blocks. Maybe you want to come with one hand on your chest, one on the block, one hand to your back. Totally up to you. You can extend your arms straight out, prayer hands, maybe your hands to the side in an airplane variation here. Keep a nice bend in that knee though. Work on the balance. One second of stillness, if that's what you can find, then that's worth a big congratulations. Exhale, release your hands to the mat. Step your left foot down, let it float back to the mat. Frame your right foot, step your right foot back to meet the left downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, lengthen through the hips. Exhale, lower your knees to the mat. Bring your hips all the way back to your heels. Child's pose. Good. Oh, cut. There we go. Excellent child's pose here. Take a moment for you. Good. Inhale, come back up to all fours, curl those toes. Exhale, raise your hips into downward facing dog. Inhale, raise your right heel to the sky. Exhale, squeeze, bend that knee, step your right foot in between your hands. Gonna come into our lizard here. Depending where your hips are at, you can lower your knee to the mat, bring both hands to the inside of your right foot, that right shoulder to the inside of the right knee. You choose where you're at, you choose how far you can come with your lizard. Inhale, lengthen. Maybe begin to slowly walk your hands further away from your body, sinking your hips down. You can come down to your forearms. You can do that too if you have blocks. Maybe put your forearms on your blocks. So you can rest a little more. You might find with each exhale, you can actually sink a couple millimeters more. You choose. Bring your hands back to your blocks or your mat. Lower that left knee if you have it up. When you're ready, push yourself up and step your right foot back to meet the left. Good. Inhale, raise the left heel to the hot sky. If you find you have a tough time stepping your foot in, you don't have enough room, You'll find if you can roll right up onto your pinky toes, push yourself a little forward, and then bring that, that foot through, you'll actually find some more room there to maintain it. Or just bring it to the outside of the hand, okay? There's no right or wrong. Just get your foot up there. You can baby step it up. doesn't matter. Do it. When you're here in your lunge, bring your... Plant your hands on your mat on the inside of that left foot, left knee, kissing that left shoulder. And again, knee up or knee down. You choose for your lizard. And you can stay here or you can slowly begin to lower yourself down bit by bit. Maybe come down to the forearms. As a runner and a jiu-jitsu person, you notice I always have a lot of focus on the hips. We actually hold a lot of tension in our hips. On your next inhale, walk your hip to your hands back. We're gonna inhale, work, bring, step that right left foot back to meet the left. 
downward facing dog. Take a couple breaths here, maybe pedal it out. Inhale, bend that right knee. Exhale, float forward, knee between the hands. Inhale, cross your right leg over your left. So you got your knees kind of stacked here. Lower your left knee to the mat. So you, your legs are actually crisscross. We're coming into a, a cow face pose or makasana here. So knees are stacked. I'm gonna turn here so you can see. Sometimes wearing black is not the best idea. My legs are crisscrossed here. Good. If you can stay here and just lower yourself where you can feel the stretch, you can come onto your hips or a block or a bolster. You can do that as well. I like a block for this one. Come on to my block for my cow face pose. Open up those hips. Sometimes as we you do this a little more, you can actually bring your feet out a little further. You, uh, you find your, your variation and where you're at with your hips. Touch of irony, I find every day my hips are a little different. One day they might be looser, one day they might be tighter. I think it depends how far I ran the day before. But... Right. Inhale, bring your hands to the mat in front, walk yourself forward, unwind your legs. Exhale, bring your hips back for child pose. Just take a couple breaths here, maybe your hands to the side, palms facing up. <sighs> Inhale, bring your hands forward, back up into child's pose. Curl your toes, exhale, raise those hips into downward facing dog. Inhale, raise that left heel to the sky. Exhale, squeeze the knee in between the hands. Exhale, crisscross the legs so that left knee is on top of the right knee. Exhale, lower that right knee down to the mat. In our bind here, in our twist, good. We've got cow face pose on the other side. So again, you can stay here where you feel your stretch. And again, you might find one side, you have a little more room than the other. I always have a tiny bit more room on this side. But again, bring that block under the hip here. If you really want to challenge yourself, Inhale, lengthen, exhale, maybe fold your chest down towards your knees. Go forward fold here. Tie ourselves up in little knots, little pretzels. Good, inhale, put your hands on the mat, walk your chest up if you were folded. Remove a block if you have it. Bring yourself forward onto your knees. Unwind the legs. And very mindfully and while breathing, bring yourself onto your back with your knees bent into constructive rest. Oh, excellent. <sighs> Take a moment here. Maybe windshield wiper, give the lower spine and then on the side here. Hands to the sides, palms facing down, back of the head touching the mat. Inhale, raise your feet, bringing your knees to your chest, arms wrapped around your shins. Inhale deep, exhale, you'll find a little more squeeze. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, hands up to the side. Let your knees float down to the right. 
the nice spinal twist. Maybe bring your gaze over your back end. Inhale, bring your knees back to center. Arms wrapped around the shins. Maybe a little rock side to side. Realign that spine here. Inhale, exhale, squeeze those knees in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, let the knees float to the left, hands out to the side, gaze over the right fingertips. Inhale, bring your knees back to center. Wrap your arms around those shins again. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, chin to the knees and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Breathe out fully, fully exhale. Relax those facial muscles. Relax those shoulders. Good. Release your hands and your legs back down to the mat. Extended straight out legs, maybe hip width apart. Keep falling softly outwards. Palms to the sky. You might have that natural inward bend. That's all right. Inhale, raise your hands overhead, point your toes as far out as you can, fingertips lengthen, inhale deep, raise your head off the mat, exhale, release everything. Do that one more, bring your hands to your sides, inhale, flex your toes to your shin, make fists, raise your feet and hands and shoulders off the mat, squeeze, 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 maybe stick your tongue out. Find your comfortable position in our final Shavasana here. Maybe a blanket under your knees to support that lower back. Mm, legs hip width apart, natural little bend outward, hands to the sides. Maybe give your head a little side to side here. Maybe take a couple of deep or inhales through the nose, exhale through the mouth just to sink further. I'm going to come up into a seated position. You can take a couple of moments here in your final Shavasana and pause or stop the video if you wish. Now I'm going to take you through a, a nice little mindful based stress reduction body scan here. Take a few moments to be still. Just congratulate yourself for coming to this part of the meditation practice. Do a mindful check-in, feeling into your body and mind, and simply allowing any waves of thoughts, emotions, and physical sensations to just Perhaps it's been a busy day and this is the first time you're stopping. As you begin to enter the world of being rather than doing, you may notice the traje trajectory of feelings that you've been carrying with you. There is no need to judge, analyze, or figure things out. Just allow yourself to be in the moment with all that's there. When you feel ready, gently shift the focus to the breath. Now become aware of breathing. Breathe normally and naturally and focus on the tip of the nose or the abdomen. Breathing in and knowing you're breathing in and breathing out and knowing you're breathing out. At times, the mind may wander away from awareness of breathing. When you recognize this, acknowledge wherever you went and then come back to the breath, breathing in and out with awareness.
And now gently withdraw awareness from mindful breathing as you shift to the body scan. As you go through the body, you may come across areas that are tight or tense. If you can allow them to soften, let that happen. If you can't, just let the sensations be, letting them ripple in whatever direction they need to go. This applies not only to physical sensations, but also to any thoughts or emotions. As you go through the body, be mindful of any physical sensations and any thoughts or emotions that may arise from sensations. Bring awareness to the bottom of the left foot where you feel the contact of your foot on the floor. Could be the back of the heel or the bottom of the left foot. Sensing into what is being felt, feeling the heel fall and sole of the left foot. Feel into your toes and the top of the left foot and back into the Achilles tendon and up to the left ankle. Now, move your awareness up to the lower left leg, feeling into the calf and shin and their connection to the left knee. Just be present. Let awareness now rise up to the thigh, sensing into the upper leg and its connection above into the left hip. And now withdraw awareness from the left hip down to the left foot, shifting into the right foot and bringing awareness to where you feel the contact of your right foot on the floor. It could be the back of the heel or the bottom of the right foot, sensing into what is being felt, feeling the heel fall and sole of the right foot. Feel into the toes and the top of the right foot and back into the Achilles tendon and up into the right ankle. Now, move your awareness up to the lower right leg. Feeling into the calf and shin and their connection to the right knee. Just be present. Let awareness now rise up into the thigh, sensing into the upper leg and its connection above into the right hip. Gently withdraw your attention from the right hip and move into your pelvic region. Now lift the awareness to the abdomen and into the belly the home of digestion and assimilation, feeling into your guts with awareness and letting be. Now withdraw your awareness from the belly and move to the tailbone and begin to sense into the lower, middle and upper parts of the back, feeling sensations, allow any tightness to soften and let be what's not soft. Let the awareness now shift into the chest, into the heart and lungs. Just be present. Feeling into the rib cage and sternum, and then into the breastbone. Now gently withdraw attention from the chest and shift the awareness into the fingertips of the left hand. Feeling into the fingers and palm and then the back of the hand and up into the left wrist. Proceed up into the forearm, elbow, and upper left arm, feeling sensations. Now shift awareness to the fingertips of the right hand, feeling into the fingers and palm, and then back of the hand and up into the right wrist. 
proceed up into the forearm, elbow and upper right arm, feeling sensations. Let the awareness move into both shoulders and armpits, and then up into the neck and throat, being present to any sensations, thoughts, or emotions. Now bring your awareness into the jaw and then gently into the teeth, tongue, mouth, and lips, allowing any resonating sensations to go wherever they need to go and letting be. Feel into the cheeks, the sinus passages that go deep into the head, the eyes and the muscles around the eyes. Feel into the forehead and the temples. Just be present. Let the awareness move into the top and back of the head, feeling into the ears and then inside of the head and into the brain. Just be present. Now expand the field awareness to the entire body from head to toe to fingertips. Connect from the head through the neck to the shoulders, arms, hands, chest, back, belly, hips, pelvis, legs, and feet. Feel the whole body as a whole organism with its various physical sensations thoughts and emotions, just be present. Breathing in, feel the whole body rising and expanding on an inhalation and falling and contracting on an exhale. Feel the body as a whole organism, just be present. you come to the end of the body scan, congratulate yourself for taking this time to be present. May you know that this is an act of love for yourself. Namaste.